First stage of the soup is going to be softening off some of the celery. So I'm going to just pull off four stalks, give it a wash, trim the ends off, and then just chop it up finely. So once we've chopped our celery, get your soup pot. I've measured out my butter. And I want you to put the celery into the soup pot with the butter, melt the butter and start to soften the celery. Before I get on to chopping up my broccoli and cauliflower, I'm just going to add the two stock pots into a container where I'm going to add the boiling water just to dissolve them. I've used a vegetable and a chicken. You could use two chicken, two veg, your choice. Then I'm going to go on and prep them the veg. So your broccoli and your cauliflower. So just going to cut them off into the florets, peel off the leaves and same with the cauliflower. So I'm still waiting on the celery softening just a little bit. So you'll see two stock pots dissolved in the litre of water. You don't need to do this, but as you can see, it's a big enough dish. So I'm just going to pour the, the same volume of milk in. So I've got my two litres of liquid that's going to get added into the soup. There we go. So we're going to add that in when we're adding the broccoli and cauliflower. So once your celery's been softening, add in your broccoli and cauliflower. Through your dish, add in your stock and milk mixture. And you'll see it should cover the majority of the veggies. I just dropped some milk, that's what's beeping. Temperamental little induction hob. So as you can see, all the veggies are pretty much covered by the liquid. What I want you to do is almost bring that up, not to the boil, but heat up the milk so you know that it's warm. As soon as it's warm, I want you to drop it down to about a medium heat so we're going to simmer it. But just to kind of get things going, I like to turn it up. Turn it up. So not started to bubble yet. Wee bubbles are starting to form. You can see the heat starting to come off that. That's what I'm looking for. So I'm going to drop that down to a six out of nine. And then we're going to simmer that for 45 minutes and then come back before adding blue cheese. After it's been simmered away for 45 minutes, I've cut the end off the blue cheese and just crumble, break it up into the soup. And we're just going to simmer that for another 10, 15 minutes, just to make sure all the cheese melts and then season before blending up. So after 10 minutes, just stirring that through, all the cheese has melted. You can see that and what you're seeing really is the cauliflower and the broccoli breaking up. So. I'm just going to get the stick blender and blend up to the desired consistency. With a lot of my soups right now, I'm not going totally smooth, just like a wee bit of grainy texture. You can go as smooth or as grainy as you want. 